Hello, everybody. Cal Banyan here. Cal Banyan's Hypnosis, etc. with Erica Flint. And you notice this is the second video, if you've seen the first one, that's different from all the others we've had because this is at Erica's Center. It's a beautiful center and uh, where she also conducts hypnosis training, teaches the same course that I do, the Five Path course. It's the NGH approved Banyan Hypnosis Certification Super Course, 10 days. And uh, sees clients with her staff. How many hypnotists you got here? Four and myself, so five total. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Hey, so guess what? I want to tell you a little bit more about Erica. Erica is a rising name and phase in the profession. She's writing. She's doing videos like this with me. She spoke at the National Guild of Hypnotists a few times and uh, the National Guild, uh, the Solid Gold, and the one coming up, right? Right. Awesome. Yep. Hey, what are you going to talk about? Um, Growing your practice uh, with weight loss, helping clients with weight loss. What a great idea. Which is what I did, I know, for I two know. years, I almost said, 100%. What do you think I should do, Cal? How about I let you talk about how right. you built yes. your Yes, thank you for okay. your guidance on okay. that. It's always nice to be able to call you when I have questions. <laughs> okay. All right, well, all right, so uh, thanks everyone for being here. We are having a lot of fun, if you can't tell already. Let me tell you about Calbanion. Calbanion is the authority on hypnosis that works, and that, me that phrase means so much to me because everything that I've learned from Cal, I use in session with clients every day. If you want to be a professional hypnotist, learning Five Path, training with Cal, training with me, the system works so well. Now, Cal Banyan has been in the profession for over 20 years, and he's won nearly every single award from the National Guild of Hypnotists, which is the oldest and largest hypnosis professional organization in the world. He's an author of one of my favorite books. He's an author of many books. One of my favorites is The Secret Language of Feelings. I give it to every single one of my clients. And he's a speaker, he's a trainer, he's a trainer of some of the best in the world. He is the guy that people go to when they have questions about hypnosis, myself included. And I'm just so honored uh, to be able to train with you and host you here today, Cal. Um, and so thank you for changing my life and the life of the hundreds of clients that I've worked with and the hundreds of students that I've trained to and all of those folks. So um, I'm just, you know, it's awesome to be here um, and talk about our new topic Well, today. like I say, let's do great things together, yep. right? And we are. We are. We absolutely are. Mm, yeah. Good. Hey, you know, one of the things... Um, we were just talking because we had dinner last night, Maureen and, and myself and you and Paige. Mm -hmm. And but we were talking about this one one person. All they do is single session hypnosis. Right. And if you don't have any follow up with your clients, how do you know if you're doing anybody any good anyhow, right? Right. And I've always felt from the very time I the time I opened my very first hypnosis office that I knew my success in the community because I was going to be like the little community hypnosis mm -hmm. office. I had no idea how big it was going to become, right? As I knew that I wasn't the guy going from hotel room to hotel room. Right. And then, um, you know, the, and then I could promise everything but deliver nothing. I was going to be there. I had to have a good reputation. And so part of that I realized I'd have to see a client more than once. And that was part of the beginning of what became Five Path. It's really important that you be a hypnosis professional that approaches 100% success with your clients because, you know, the very best clients are people who come by referral. You've helped their mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, or lover, and they say, I, I want you to do to me what you did to, to my friend or family member, right? Right. Cool. Which is exactly what we're talking about here today, how to get near 100% success with your clients. Um, and just to, to comment on that, Cal, I think a lot of hypnotists might get nervous about, you know, hey, will this person sign up with me? And, and maybe if I offer them a lower rate and one session, maybe they'll <laughs> sign up with me. And But we're not doing service to our clients when we do that because then clients think, you know, they go in for one session and, and maybe they get some partial results. But then they think, hey, what's wrong with me? I thought it was supposed to work in one session. Professionals don't do one session. Right. I mean, can you imagine a one session doctor? <laughs> Yeah, here a you one go. session lawyer, right, right. Don't a check one in. session teacher, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna teach you everything you know, one, one class, one time. Right? right? And so, I mean, it, it is a relationship over a period of time, mm -hmm. whatever time that is, that's required to accomplish the goal. Right. And we typically tell people, uh, depending on the seriousness of the issue, how mm -hmm. complicated it seems, you know, five, six, seven sessions, if it's really hard, we'll estimate, eh, it might be eight, but it could be more. It depends on a number of factors, the skill of the hypnotist, the experience of the hypnotist, 
how complex the issue is, how long it's been around, and probably one of the biggest deals is how compliant they're going right. to be. Are they willing to follow instructions yep. and do what you Are actually gonna... ask them to do? Yeah. I had a client come in, and she came in for a double session. Uh, drove in from Mississippi. I'm in Texas, and for a double session, now I'm doing online sessions with her to do the rest. Okay. And she hadn't done some of the stuff that I oh. asked her to do, and you know, some reading and self hypnosis. Mm -hmm. And she goes, You know, I guess I kind of thought you were just going to wave a magic wand and I didn't have to do anything. And I said, You know, dear, how long have you had this issue? Mm -hmm. You know, like for a long, long, long time. And I says, You know, if I could just wave a wand, then there'd be a line out my door three miles long so I could just do my <laughs> wand waving for that day. For everybody. But it really is a, a hypnosis is a dance. One person, yeah. a hypnotist, is in, the, is in the role of the lead, mm -hmm. and the person who's in the client needs to follow. Just like lead and follow and dance, in this case, it's the, the hypnotist knows what to do and mm -hmm. instructs that person, guides them through yep. it, and then the person in the follow needs to follow instructions. Needs to follow. Yeah, it's not mind control, right? I mean, that's not at all what we're talking about. Some people get confused by that. Some people it's are very disappointed follow. about that. They're, well, it's yeah. funny because they're afraid it's mind control. Mm -hmm. And then when they find out it's not mind control, <laughs> then they're upset. Then they're disappointed. You just snap your fingers, yeah, and, yeah. and get it fixed. You're not going to take over my mind, are you? <laughs> Make me do stuff I don't want to do. No, I can't do that. You mean it's not mind control? No, it's not. Oh, exactly. I was hoping you could just wave your wand and I'd be fine. Yeah. No, nope, it's a process. Exactly. And so that is the very first thing that we need to do. What Cal is talking about here is, is what I call the setup. We need to make sure that our clients understand what hypnosis really is. It's not magic. Um, there are no guarantees. This is the other thing that you'll see in single sessions. I see it a lot with the stop smoking, right? And it kind of makes me laugh because one of the stop smoking, not all of them are like this, but one of the single sessions stop smoking advertisements was, hey, if it doesn't work, come back. Uh, a single session, but if it doesn't work, come back. And it's like, well, if it doesn't work the first time, you're yeah, going to come back to the same thing. Yeah, you can have more of what doesn't work. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there are no guarantees. We don't want to give our clients guarantees because then they think they don't have any ownership or they don't have to do anything. Right. You know, and professionals, uh, once again, mm -hmm. doctors don't guarantee you're going to get well. Right. Schools and teachers don't guarantee you're going to pass the exam. Yep. And it just goes on and on like that. Lawyers don't guarantee you're going to win mm -hmm. the case. Right. They'll guarantee you they're going to take a percentage if they do. <laughs> right. And right? if you lose, you still have to pay something. Mm -hmm. But that we're in a professional world. We're not doing an hourly type thing. Mm -hmm. We're not... We're not a industry, we're a profession. Industries manufacture things. Okay. And we're a profession, it means we work with people to help people do things that they wanna do. Right, Okay. right. Cool. And another part of the setup that I see a lot with newer hypnotists is um, they, you know, don't, the client will say something like this, well, yeah, I'll try it. Or, you know, I'll, I'll you know, let, let's try one session. Um, you know, you, you'll tell them that it's going to be five sessions and they'll say, I'll try it for a single session and we'll see how it goes. Has that ever happened to you, Cal? Anybody ever said that to you? Well, it, yeah, mostly I don't book the appointments. Okay. Yeah. But I know how Maureen handles this. I could go right. grab her and pull her on the camera, <laughs> but she would hate me for the rest of the day. <laughs> and the way that goes, I've heard her doing all this booking, is we just let them know this is a process. Right. And it doesn't serve anybody to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes I think that really they just want to be convinced that they can do be hypnotized. They just want, right. And that you are a credible person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if they come in and for some reason we don't just hit it off mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, boy, I wish I never would have booked this person because sometimes, you know, some people don't hit it off, then I'm going to refund them the whole amount because then it's as if I hadn't booked them. Right. So uh, the main thing is just get them in, mm -hmm. be truthful with them, and then, you know, give them the service that you promised. Right. Yeah. And that's uh, similar to what I would do. Now, I get to speak with them, so I get to know whether kind of we're hitting it off uh, in the first place or not. But if a client does say that to me, I'll just tell them that I don't think that they're ready for hypnosis. It, it really is a commitment. And, and most people at that time, then they'll say, oh, no, 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 you know, I'm, I'm all in. I'll be completely committed. Um, and so that's how Hold we can help Hold on just a them. second, because my microphone came off. Mm -hmm. We'll leave this on the video, because this is like something that can really happen. And if I'm playing with my, my microphone, that's making a lot of noise, and they can't hear what you're saying. Right. So we're probably not going to edit this out, because I don't ever edit, edit my videos. There we so go. So much easier to yeah. not edit. So here we go. All right. That, you, were in, you watched that episode where Cal's mic fell off, and then 
Okay. All right. So you got to go back about 10 seconds. Yes. So um, you, when clients are there and they say, I'm, I'm not sure, I, I'm going to try it out, I will tell them, you know, I don't think that you're quite ready. I really want you to be committed. And then most clients go all in and they'll say, okay, no, 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 no. I'll do it. I'll sign up. I want to be committed. And that's how we can really truly help our clients by getting them to commit to the full process. So this is, you know, this is all part of the setup. And the last piece of it really is making sure you're charging enough. Well, you know, and the things that you're talking about, when mm -hmm. you're doing that, I think what you're doing is you're really showing the client that you care. Yeah. Okay? Because you have that time where it, this isn't just a checklist, check, check, check. Okay, no, you don't do it, next, okay? But when you show them that you really, really want to do it right so right. that it really works for them, and that you're different from maybe some other people they've mm -hmm. visited in the past. You know what surprises me all the time is someone come and they will have tried three hypnotists and fail. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to try they're it again. still willing, yeah. It's like, okay, well, you you know what? Three strikes, they're out. Let's hit a home run. Right. Mm. And part of it with those other hypnotists might have been that they were trying to do single session or they weren't giving them clear um, idea of how many sessions it would take, something like that. Yep. Uh, the last thing really is you don't have to work with every client. I know this is hard for a lot of people because most people get in the hypnosis profession because we want to help other people and it's really kind of heartbreaking to not work with every single client, especially if somebody's struggling, but it's okay. If you don't think you can get your client the results that they want for whatever reason, it's okay to not work with them. Or to tell them not now, maybe later. Yeah. It doesn't sound like you're really ready yet. Exactly. When you're ready, because mm -hmm. All I care about is your success. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, you know, my saying is my success comes from your success. Right. I don't want to work with you until it's the right time. Maybe you got to go try that gum or the, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, the patch, you know, whatever it is, or go through that other class. Yep. Go do it. And if that works for you, God bless you, right? Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, right. that's where the hypnotist takes over. Right, because we don't want our clients thinking, oh, now hypnosis didn't work either because they're not, they weren't ready for it or they weren't fully invested. That's right. right? That's right. Yeah. All right, so that's all about the setup. This, that's, um, make sure you do a really good setup. Uh, the second thing is to get really clear goals. So how do we make sure that our client is successful? We have to have those clear goals. A lot of our clients don't even know really what they want, and we've talked about this before. In the previous episode, the we previous talked episode, about they, yeah. they have their don't wants. They have their don't wants. And yeah. you say, okay. I always have them on their intake paperwork write mm -hmm. down what it is and yeah. then when they come into my office say okay you wrote down this and I read it but now in your own words I want to know what the end looks like what does it look like mm -hmm. when we've completely solved this issue and you're getting what you want tell me what that looks like yeah. mm. and they can start getting excited about that hey yeah. if you didn't watch the video just before this one go back and watch it it was really good and this really kind of falls right into the theme of what right. we were scriptless talking about hypnosis was the name of that excellent. one yeah. excellent yeah yeah so you know if if our clients don't know what success looks like it's going to be very hard for them to realize that they're successful and part of the problem is that like for example let's just take a weight loss client because i work with a lot of weight loss clients if you allow your client to have the only thing on their benefits form <laughs> as being i want to lose 50 pounds if that's the only thing you know you'd have to work with them for a good eight months probably in order to get them that success right. and so we want to have other benefits so for example with weight loss clients they might not be thinking about food all the time and so now they have time at the end of their day um, to do other things and spend time with their family you know and one of the things is we work with them they find out one of the things they want to lose weight is they can be more confident mm -hmm. and you know I say would you have to lose all 50 pounds to start feeling more confident no I'd start feeling more confident if I could lose 15 pounds yep. boom so we have these wins along the way yep. right and so that and then we're going I will typically with someone like that I might work do three four five sessions a week and then start checking with them I say why don't you come in make an appointment for two weeks mm -hmm. and that way we can see how you're going I can reinforce what's working if there's anything else that we need to work on uh, you know maybe it's a behavior like exercise right. behavior we can add that in but right now let's just work with this I mean someone's got to lose 50 pounds or 100 pounds right and then I'll say, okay, let's let's schedule another point for like three weeks or two weeks, whatever you feel better mm -hmm. with, right? And if you don't need it, then we'll just scooch it back a week because right. I want to be there for you so that you can be successful. I'll tell you, our, the best marketing we have is happy clients. Right. <laughs> and weight loss is so good because everyone's going like, what did you do? 
How'd you do that? Don't tell me keto. I don't want to do keto, right? Or whatever it is, right? Or Weight Watchers. I try Weight Watchers. I'm not going to get weighed in front of everybody. And they go hypnosis. Oh, really? And now, boom, that next, the month, their mother, father, sister, brother. Yep. Every member of their family that feels a little bit overweight and is frustrated, they become potential clients. And the thing I love about weight loss with hypnosis is that they're not feeling deprived. And that's a big difference because when people are losing weight and they're complaining that they're starving all the time or they can't eat this or they can't eat that uh, and it's just miserable, the whole process is miserable for them, it's like, okay, they're losing weight, but I don't want to do whatever they're doing. Right. Instead, with hypnosis, they feel better um, emotionally, they feel better, they're losing weight, and they're getting their life going in the direction that they want it to go, right? This is a different topic, but we'll mention it. One of the things is most hypnotists say, stop doing this and stop doing that and eat chicken breast without the skin and, and broccoli, yep. okay? And there's just not a lot of joy in that, right? But because we use the secret language of feelings, right? right? And we start showing them that, you know, you have needs, wants, and desires mm -hmm. that you are not fulfilling, and then that makes you feel bad, and then you distract yourself with food, or it might yeah. be cigarettes or whatever it is, right? And so you're, I'm going to show you how to be happier than you are now mm -hmm. with you know, a, a Reese's Buttercup in your mouth. Right. Get them reconnected to that joy. What, you know, the question I like to ask is, what lights you up? And so many clients will be reminded, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love to sing. I forgot how much I loved to dance or make pottery. And, and that really starts generating mm -hmm. a really positive mm -hmm. shift in them. Yeah. That's right. We are quick changed artists. Yes. Quick exactly. changed artists. Um, all right. So the first thing was the setup and then the really clear goals. The third thing is accountability. Um, how do we get success for our clients? Well, accountability. We're going to have more than one session, and there is a monetary value associated with that. So we make sure that our clients are prepaid, first of all, that the session rate is enough. I mean, some people have a lot of money in there. They can throw, you know, a thousand bucks, five hundred bucks at a problem, and it's really not a big deal, mm -hmm. right? Um, so getting success with you, when you have those clear goals and the accountability, that's going to keep the clients coming back. You know, I like to have my cl my clients do some stuff in between sessions yep. because you know being with them an hour a week mm -hmm. is not as good as being there in their head all week long so we have the secret language of feelings yep. book i held out this book and i say okay if this could really really help you with what you're doing mm -hmm. give us a language that tells so you can understand your feelings better how much of this would you be willing to read mm -hmm. and they look at it and they see that it's it's not big college words right. you know really easy to read and they go, this much. And I go, good, I get a sticky note and I put it in there. And it's like 50 pages, right? Yeah. 50 pages, you could do that. Hell or high water, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I go, then right in front of them, in their file, I go, we'll read 50 pages of the secret <laughs> language of feelings. Very specific, right? Awesome, yeah. right? So there's that accountability. <laughs> right. I go, and you're going to feel really good when you come in next yeah, week do. and yeah. you've done that. Okay, good. Yeah. Another thing is thus, I have them doing a seven pound self hypnosis. Right. Mm -hmm. That way I'm in their head all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they wake up and do seven pound self hypnosis in the afternoon or evening. They also do it and they go to sleep with it every night. Mm -hmm. And so they're just getting seven pound self hypnosis is the very first antivirus software for the human mind. It goes in, finds all those negative programs, yep. zap, 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 starts getting rid of them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this book. I wasn't crazy about the book, but I love the title. It's uh, it's not what you're eating. It's what's eating you. Oh, yeah. Isn't that a cool title, mm -hmm. right? And it just goes after those things, fear, anger, guilt, sadness from the mm -hmm. past, yep. and starts getting rid of them. And that drive to distract from those feelings by eating all day long just starts to go away. And then we can program for them for success. Awesome. Good. So the next thing is connecting the dots. One of the things that I like to do every time that I see client for a subsequent session is I'll pull out their benefits form and I'm going to ask them again, how are you doing with this goal? How are you doing? How is this happening? So this again is about accountability, but I make sure that I cover it every time that a client comes into session. So now the client is coming in. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I did want to sleep better and I am sleeping better. I know because I wake up in the morning with more energy. I have been happier at home. I haven't had an argument with my 14 year old daughter 
all week long. And so now we're reminding them of all of the good success that they're having by coming in. I tell them hypnosis, the way that we do it, mm -hmm. has side effects. And they're all good. <laughs> and they're all good, right? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unintended positive consequences. That's right. Yeah. So you get that positive upward spiral instead of the, the negative downward spiral that so Which many just people leads are to more need to distract. The next thing you know, yeah. if they're not eating, they're smoking, or they're not smoking, then they're, they're you know, doing some other thing that's just an immediate feel good behavior right. that does not do anything to fix the problem. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's when our clients come to see us. They're desperate and they're hopeless. Mm -hmm. And, you mm -hmm. know, those are the people that uh, we get to help, right? You know, this is why if you decide to become a hypnotist, you've got to be good because we're like their last choice, right? Right. I mean, they've tried the doctor. They've tried the mm -hmm. self-help book. They've subscribed to who knows how many YouTube yep. gurus, right? And when none of that works, they say, what? I guess I got to go check out the witch doctor. Right. I mean, hypnotist, <laughs> right? And so with that in mind, you, you know, you really, 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 really want to be that person who gets approaching 100% success and I want you to think about the people we do get success with are the people that everyone else has failed with that means hypnotists are awesome yeah and it feels so good as a hypnotist it's such a fulfilling job to know when you come home at the end of the mm -hmm. day know that you help somebody with something that they might have been struggling with I mean a lot of our clients are struggling with issues that they've been struggling with for 20 30 40 years okay. and they finally solve their problem I've had people get mad how come you didn't show up in my life right. earlier? I go, well, 40 years ago, uh, I wasn't doing this. I've only been doing it for like 23 years. Yep, yep. So things happen exactly. for a time, for a reason. Hmm. Well, that's how to get um, near 100% success with your clients. We um, discussed the setup. We discussed getting clear goals. We discussed the accountability and then connecting the dots and making sure when they're coming back in, we are reviewing that information with them to make sure that they are noticing that they are getting successful. And if they're not at that point, by the way, Cal, sometimes there's something on the list. They're like, oh, geez, I forgot to do that or I was so happy over here. Then we're going to make sure that, hey, is this something that you still want and reinforce that so that by the end, the client were like, check, check, check got everything on their list, mm, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. It really pays to know what you're doing. Yes, it does. <laughs> and take good notes and have a process, a mm -hmm. systematic approach. All of these things as Five Pathers really helps us. Um, you know, we don't have to make this stuff up as we go along. We can integrate our clients' needs into the session with us with, backed by a really solid process. Right? Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Five Path, yeah. uh, it's the only system of hypnosis out there that has, is proven. And in fact, I don't even know of another system of hypnosis out there. There's other names like, and I'm, I'm not putting down any other systems. I'm sure there's some people, have ex plenty of people have success with NLP or Ericksonian, mm -hmm. but um, NLP and Ericksonian are not direct at you hypnosis. And I don't know how many hypnotists out there are doing that and calling it hypnosis and so that they can have a hypnosis center or hypnosis right. office. Mm -hmm. So those things are typically done as an adjunct to psychology or counseling or something like that. So I want you to get one really important little segue here from this. These videos and all the videos that Erica and I put out and the videos I've done with other co-hosts too, if you notice, they're for you. You know, at the end, yeah, I'll go, hey, I hope to see you in class and go see my website. But the other 98% of the video is nuggets for you. And with that, I want you to think about maybe it'd be a good idea, and I hope you do, to subscribe to the YouTube channel or to go, in, in one case, calbanion.com. And there's a place on there that says, get, get all of Cal's free videos. Go there, subscribe to that. You'll instantly get access to all the videos we've done. And I don't want to scare you, but there's over 500 videos on every topic and you can just go through. And you've got a place on your website where you keep the videos too, sure right? sure do, mm. yeah. Cascade Hypnosis Training, all of the videos there too. And with over 500, they could watch, you know, two a day almost for a year. I honestly, with all my heart, believe that watching those videos will provide you with more hypnosis training than you can get in anybody's hypnosis class except for the five path certified courses and they're free. Yep. You can get more from us from, for free than you can get in any paid hypnosis class out there except ours. Okay, I'm going on about myself enough.
Okay, uh. well, we see a lot of clients and that's how we can help a lot of people, right? I mean, that's what a professional hypnotist is. They actually exchange money for hypnosis. So right. when you talk to somebody who has seen a thousand clients, when you talk to somebody who sees, you know, 20 different clients a week, something like that, they're gonna learn something. And that's what Cal and I do. And that's why we get to share uh, our experience. Uh, and that's why Five Path is changing all the time, which I think is awesome. It's, it's constantly growing and evolving and it's modern. Uh, and we use the best techniques. So that's why I like being part of Five Path. I think I've personally trained over 2,000 hypnotists. Mm -hmm. And then we've got trainers like you right. that have trained many more. Mm -hmm. And those people out there, and uh, most of them I think are doing what we're exactly teaching. Right. And uh, that's, that's the big satisfying thing. You'll have someone come up to you and say, you don't know me because I didn't do sessions with you, but mm -hmm. I did so with someone you trained right. and they changed my life or now I have a career or now I can go to school mm -hmm. or whatever was blocking them before. And that's the satisfying thing. And that's what we want to do for you. Yeah. All right, awesome. wrap it up. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. I'm Erica Flint. You can find me at CascadeHypnosisTraining.com and I'd love to see you in class. I have classes in January, April uh, in 2020 and uh, would love to see you there. All right, Cal Banyan here. Uh, go to CalBanyan.com. If you're watching this in two years, three years after this, you can go to our websites. Our mm -hmm. schedule's always there. I've, of course, got classes coming up in in January. I do want to push one class. I'm doing the Week of Power, which is the seven-day version of the class. Unusual. I haven't done it in a long, long time in Singapore. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the Asia area, that's in March. Check out the schedule. It's on CalBanyan.com. CalBanyan, .com. Cal Banyan, 